Okay. About 2,340 delegates of the All Progressives Congress are expected to decide the fate of the party's presidential flag bearer in what has been described as an open contest. We'll also be looking through the, today's newspaper, analyzing bigger stories of the day. Welcome to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. It's, it's a beautiful Wednesday morning, and uh, I, I think that Nigerians have been up and running. It's good to be back on your screen. I am Messi Boko. And I'm Kofi Patel, so it's uh, quite, quite a very, I mean, you can see, <laughs> Mercy, you can see my face. Look at, look at, look at me, look at me. I, I have not slept. It's fine. You know, uh, Nigerians, been, Nigerians have been awake. I'm, I'm telling you. I decided to, to get uh, some sleep a few I, I'm hours just, I'm before. just monitoring my, my mobile device to see if um, any, any news is coming in from our, our correspondent in Abuja. Um, and um, from what his correspondent is telling me, um, right now, they're still, they're still, they're still voting. Uh, those from Yobe State were on the queue uh, last time I checked, uh, getting their voting done. It, it, the APC presidential primaries is a talk of town. You know, uh, we'll look at that as we go on today. Uh, but just to say that yesterday, a lot of things were trending. Anyone who came up to speak was trending. Anyone who said anything was trending. You know, it was quite interesting. We'll talk about that in detail uh, um, <laughs> yes, uh, today. But one of the side attractions was, of course, the musicians that they brought. You know, any musician that came up was trending. So people were talking about the likes of Stereo Man, talking about uh, the likes of uh, Stereo Man who sang Sample Equi, talking about the likes of the surviving member of Danfo Drivers, and also talked about uh, Shino Peters, you know, who came to, 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 to perform. Then they said, oh, the, maybe the, the current musicians refuse to, um, to, to, uh, to perform, and that's why the party had to go for old. It's more like a boycott. Mm -hmm. But we don't know. But then another person else where said, oh, this is just how the party is. It's just a party of old people. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, it I mean, was, but you can also take out the fact that you, if you say it's a party of old people, uh, not necessarily. Mm -hmm. But um, the yes, fact yeah. that, um, I mean, if you want to juxtapose that with this artist or mm -hmm. artist, uh, you won't say that they're very talented, but a lot actually has been going on. Now, for me, it's the fact that we were, I mean, it feels like the entire country has been, has not had good sleep for all, up until this moment. A lot of people have been up. I mean, you could see everyone very active. Yes, I couldn't yes. have imagined. Yes. So it feels like there's some kind of progress. Yes. yes. Uh, we're moving away from what we have been described over time as being docile. Uh, you know, very docile people who are not interested. You find people are logging in. You could see their engagement on Twitter, mm -hmm. on other, uh, you know, uh, social media platforms. It just tells us that the energy is getting very different at the, this the, point. The, the APC primary today was like, uh, it was like um, a football match. People, people <laughs> some were saying, I wish I had placed the bet. Why? On who was going to win. It was like, you know, and I, I, I kept reminding some people, you know, on, on radio that um, it's, it reminds of Atlanta 96 when we all stayed up to watch Nigeria versus um, um, Brazil and Nigeria versus Argentina, you know. So um, <laughs> it was quite interesting. I've lost, almost lost my voice. We'll talk about that um, uh, later today. But on the breakfast, let's uh, start with the f top, first top trending story. Well, looking at the top trending uh, this morning, it generates, it's been generating different reaction in different spaces. Now, commercial motorcyclists and police officers attached to the Lagos Tax Force, have clashed in Idiaraba, access of the state. Now, don't also forget that on the 1st of June, the government of Lagos State, I mean, the state government has said we're going to effect, you know, the ban of Okada. It's not the first time we're talking about it in different, you know, local government across the state. And it, 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 it has not really, um, you know, been very well with a lot of people. So you have those who are saying, hey, as much as it sounds like a fantastic policy, but you know the timing and you know the action following the timing cannot be commensurate. On the other hand, you find out that this is even not the first time, and so why do you have to ban what you have 
you know, that has been banned already. So it's like a reban. So you're saying you're banning because if if, if we can remember vividly, this um, uh, policy has been put out. You know, statement has also been said, but have we been able to follow it to the latter? But it was a different one yesterday because you have. Um, uh, you know, the motorcycle is resisting police officers deployed in the area to enforce the state government's ban on motorcycles. Now, in this part of, you know, in this part of Lagos, I'm, okay, it sounds like different part, the island and, uh, you know, the mainland. Where, where, but, where, but, where, but in this part... Boys, where the big boys are. <laughs> <laughs> so in this, in this part, I think that the level of compliance has been, you know, commendable. I have seen places. Yesterday, it was just around the Axis Wiley even. I could see the people were doing a lot of work. Yeah, Island Girl. <laughs> Say again? No, Island Girl. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and, and this morning, someone was telling me, oh, no, you know, people on this side don't really have so much troubles. So you're going to have a lot of that, you know, with people on um, the other side of the divide. So you're talking about a papa. Now, long and short of all of this is that, uh, you know, obeying the ban and uh, enforcing the uh, government policy on the ban of Okada hasn't been very fantastic in different parts of Lagos. And yesterday was something else in this axis that we mentioned in Diaraba, where you, you, we could actually see, I mean, there were pictures. You also have, you know, videos to that effect. When these police officers came to ensure that um, the, the ban is respected, then you have this motorcycle setting up these bonfires with tires. And that also causes care for members of the community. But truth is, at this point, I think we need to come to a consensus. Whatever the case might be, we might not continue like this. It feels like we need to come to the table and have a conversation. Dialogue would solve every problem. You know, uh, two wrongs can never make a right. But Kofi, what are your thoughts on this? Um, well, of course, these are some of the, the teething problems you have with uh, implementation of such policies. You know, uh, nobody is going to sit down and allow their source of livelihood just to be taken away by, by government. It's, it's expected that people will react in such a way as expected that they would uh, kick back. But I have it on good account that um, some of the uh, policemen in Lagos State are taking advantage of this Okada ban. Uh, to make brisk business, and I think uh, also this could is not just um, you're not just seeing reaction to people losing their business. It's also probably seeing reaction uh, to um, uh, anger at the actions of the police as well. Um, but this time in the Arab, of course, this is enforcement of the ban. But we're hearing that the uh, policemen are arresting or car riders and seizing and pounding their motorcycles in local governments outside the six in legal state that the government, state government, had ordered uh, the, the ban on. So, um, of course, this is coming two weeks after another clash between the police and Okada riders in Ojo, uh, area of Lagos state, if you remember that one, after the same enforcement team from the police tried to enforce this state government uh, uh, um, a ban. Uh, but some observers are saying, you know, to the government, mercy is what they're saying to them. See. <laughs> you know, when we're kids, they will tell you sorry. And they see you. Why? Because it was in this same Lagos that people came up with ideas. Ideas to use technology, or right, technology to run Okada. So sort of have um, um, ride-hailing services, but for Okada. You take your phone, you go to mobile app, you do pim, 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 and then somebody's going to come and pick you. Uniformed, wearing uh, uh, a helmet on a very, very good bike. Profiled, identified, is something that government could have keyed into. You know, private sector is, is, is always come with ideas. The reason why Lagos is the way it is, in fact, Nigeria, is not because government is doing anything spectacular. Lagos is driving because the private sector is one of the best in the world and doing all they can. What is government doing? So you have the rights of, you had the rights of all like, all right, you know, go Kada and co, and they just simply threw those away. You know, for reasons that are well documented, the public knows. So right now they're reaping the fruit of what they sow, and it shows the ineptitude of those we have in government at the federal and state levels, this time in the state, you know. And so, I mean, it's, it's just basically what they have created, you know. You know, misgovernance, lack of ideas, lack of vision. Uh, government came up with, with policies in Lagos State. There's already an existence of system of Kataban. Why are we having them on the streets? Is it because you refuse to do your job as a state government? You failed to do your job. And some people are suspecting. People have come up with various theories, you know, a school of thoughts. And some say 
uh, feel it's because of politics. You know, government wants to you know, appeal to the base of those who write these Okada so that when it's time to vote, they vote for them. That some people may not agree with that. Also, some say it's a matter of um, revenue. Because if you know how much these Okada writers pay, for instance, I interviewed some, you know, did some field work to try and find out. Some pay as much as 500 naira a day, all right? Um, that 500 is even cheap for, for, for some places they pay more than that. Imagine how much if you have maybe 100 motorcyclists in a particular area, one small part of Lagos or 50 in one small gate, one estate gate. They all pay 500 naira every day. Multiply that by the number of motorcycles in the whole of Lagos. Where do those monies go to? You know, so we need to see government being proactive. We need to see government in Lagos State and indeed the entire country of Nigeria being visionary. All right, doing things in the interest of the people, doing things in the interest of moving the nation, the nation forward. forward. Not, yes, okay. and then and then think things through. And when you have policies, implement them. Mm. You know, these are the monsters you created. These are the monsters hey, the government so, created. So that would be part it's, of the lyrics of, you know, Bonner Boy, yeah, uh, the monster that we have created, what we have to deal with. But <laughs> if you look at some of the argument that's been put, put out, I'm thinking, like you have rightly mentioned, it would be important to have policies. But at the end of the day, policies should actually reflect the interests of the people. And that's why government exists at different quarters. And so, um, yes. This is not only in Lagos, because you have in different states where, you know, the ban of Okada has been on top of the front burner. And usually the excuse has been that, you know, these bikes, they have actually caused a lot of casualties. People have lost their lives. They have also constituted to crime and criminality. And so we need to reduce their operation. On the other hand, you begin to ask, uh, is it possible for us to begin to control who these bike, uh, bike riders are? I mean, those who are those who have access to this and that's why you call the private sector you know on the other hand and the fact that it was dismissed but it, br it brings us back still to the point that um whatever policy it is it needs to be thought through you can't just wake up and implement this policy without having a way we still have to query as much as we say oh we cannot import rice into nigeria is one of it it's a policy oh we banned the of rice we don't want it because we want to en encourage you know local production all right. But, but what's, what's the substitution for it? That's the question. All right. It, it, that, that's a good question, man. So we need to move on. Let's uh, look at another one where uh, the Pan Igbo Social Cultural Organization, or Hanese in Igbo, uh, wrote a letter. Yesterday we received that letter right here on Plus TV Africa to our President Muhammadu Buhari. He called it a goodwill message to Mr. President. Um, this was signed by Ambassador Professor George Obiozo, who is the President General of the organization or Hanese Indibo Worldwide, dated 7th June 2022. Um, this is on the occasion of the national presidential primaries of his party uh, holding Eagle Square Abuja now. Uh, this is the thesis of this, this, this letter. And uh, this is what Professor uh, uh, Jojo Biozo said, quote, I wish to take liberty uh, of this message to once again appeal to Mr. President to take serious consideration uh, the security situation in the country or in the southeast zone and across the country. In this regard, there is a compelling necessity for the release of uh, Mazi Namdikanu and his group as we seek for political peaceful solution to the problem of insecurity in the southeast. Uh, I think that is that is the thesis of the statement. The congratulatory thing was just a uh, uh, protocol, but this is the thesis of uh, what uh, Professor Obiozo uh, is, is saying. Yes, uh, well, I, I really don't know because it feels like this already has been overwhelmed by, you know, the APC primaries. I'm, I'm not sure how many persons are even paying attention to all of this. Uh, so it, it's, it's more like you have to appeal at this point in time. It hasn't, you, you don't have to, you know, be dependent on the uh, stick approach. So you have the carrot and the stick approach. But at this point in time, I think that the Ohanese's are, uh, you know, uh, falling back to the other approach, which would be, you know, the current approach. And they are appealing and they are asking that the president would consider, because in all of this, it, it, the crux of the matter would be the release of Namdi Kano. But some people have argued that this is actually a political concern. It's not necessarily, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's a legal issue. And so we, because it's in the law, it should be. But we have seen the process. We have seen the entire process to all of this. And it's been faulted by legal practitioners saying, hey, you, you, if you look at the issue, if you look at you know, the process in getting to this point, it hasn't really achieved anything. And once upon a time, there was also some suggestion 
saying that maybe, you know, th th there might just be a discourse and dialogue with the president to come to some point of consensus and say, hey, we need to get, uh, release um, the man who is in custody. But let's see how that pans out as we proceed. All right. What do we have next? Now, um, still on top trending this morning, Timmy Dakolo reacts to the use of a song. Uh, I'm trying to remember the title of that song, but it talks about Nigeria, great nation, great people. And that song is, it comes with some kind of spirit. Usually if that song is played, I get to feel goosebumps, mm -hmm. you know. The, the lyrics are really very strong and it's they get also, to me. almost like um, uh, the national anthem of the people. Say again? Yes. It, yes, it's because a lot of people, some people will say young people don't want to hear the Nigerian national anthem, and this one, when you sing it, they prefer it. Yeah, so he, I know. mean, if you play that mm. song anytime where I'm around or I'm around where that song is being played, I just feel some kind of way. And if not, almost um, already shedding a few tears. Mm. Oh, wow. uh, that song is very, very, <laughs> I'm, I'm serious, wow. I'm not joking here. It's, it's, it's some, there's something about that song. Well, he's raised some concern about the song and saying, hey, how can that song, because the song was actually played, and then he said, oh, in, in a Senna climb, um, you definitely would need to get a permission of the artist before uh, playing the song in an event. And he said, oh, a lot of people get out with a lot of stuff. In this country, people just get away with so much. There's been mixed reaction. For those who are saying, oh, this young man wants to trend at this point, is that what we're talking about? But also looking at some issues. His, uh, I mean, some people have also looked at the uh, musical copyright, I mean, the, the right, right? Uh, intellectual property, protecting all of that. It's also still part of the process of governance. If we have to do the right thing, then we have to do the right thing. But at what point should Timida Kolo's song be played? Can it be played in public in such ceremony? Because some people are saying, if you have a song, that's what the copyright, uh, you know, copyright law talks about, especially uh, when it's related to music. It would be expected that if a song is played in public, if a song is already made public, then it can be used you know, at different points because it has already been made public and the issue of having to pay, um, what's it called again, uh, protects the intellectual property and all of the rights have been taken care of by the virtue of the fact that you make it public in different spaces. So for instance, I don't want to begin to mention for the sake, uh, for the sake of, you know, promotion and advertising at this point in time. So you have different platforms that this song can be on. And so if you have acquired this song, is it possible that you can play, put it out, you know, play it in, in different spaces? Some of um, these artists, you have their songs being played in different locations, personal locations, but of course they're still very public occasions. So what's the difference with this particular one? All right, uh, I think you've said it all, Mercy. Um, you know, uh, with analysis there, that Simi has, um has uh, kicked against uh, his, the usage of his song, you know, and of course you rightly looked at the the copyright issue and the copyright laws, which are really uh, barely enforced in this country. Um, but of course, there's something called fair use. In a way, you use a song uh, not for for profit, but just you know for what is meant to be used, which is people listen to it. You know, for instance, if I have. Um, a TV station and I play a song, uh, and I'm using that song to make money, or have a radio station and I play a song, and I'm using that song to make money, or I have an event or something where I use that song to, to, for profit, then, then, then of course, um, um, I'm using someone's intellectual property, you know, uh, uh, or, or whatever I want to call it. So, so I don't know, I'm, I don't have a full grasp of Nigeria's copyright laws, but I think I'm... Um, uh, the DJ, I mean, I was in a position where I couldn't hear all that was being played out, so I was listening to the speeches. The DJ uh, from that rally last night was, I think, the, the side attraction. He was a star. And DJ was a star. He came up with songs and was playing stuff, you know, that brought a bit of a comical feel to everything. Mm -hmm. you know, he even played a Yahoo song for the <laughs> vice president. Um, and a lot of other, you know, it really, really just added some life to it. So if the DJ was the one who played that song. I don't think that uh, Timmy has any complaints because he was just playing songs of different artists. Exactly. Fair use, just people who could dance at the venue. He was DJing. Um, if it was an official performance, like you have Super Bowl, you know, if you play a song at Super Bowl, it's a, it's a commercial event where people are watching and it's not just it's a, a ticket, you know, it, tickets it's, yes, it's not just a ticket to the event where people go to pay, but also on TV, mm. you sell of adverts and people tune in. And the the um, the the performances are a big part of 
of, uh, of, uh, of the Super Bowl. So you would want to expect that the NFL in America would write to the artist to say, even if you're not inviting you to perform, your song is on the set of the program. Exactly. Um, it was a free event by Political Party, which is a voluntary organization, you know, sort of an NGO, you know, political parties, like, uh, they are like that. So would they have needed to, to ask for your permission? I don't know. But Timmy Dacolo um, has, I like the fact that he speaks up. You know, and he's sharing his mind. Let, let's move on. Um, this time around to look at um, the Jesus Challenge. Mercy. Um, uh, I'm sure you, you followed that yesterday. Um, my wife, you know, was the one who brought my attention to the fact that um, uh, she said, on, on different people's DPs, <laughs> you had Jesus, Jesus, you know. Is this, is this someone's, you know, has rapture happened or something like that? Of course, we expect that if there's rapture, we'll be part of it. So we just, <laughs> she was just, you know, joking. You know, then I said, I, I don't know. Maybe me, who, me usually I'm the, you know, one who is always the voice of reason. I said, uh, you know, maybe, maybe somebody is trying to sell something. Or I hope that people will not realize that this is someone's album that is trying to sell. Or only for us to go and then realize, okay, a lot of people were putting it on WhatsApp. You know, status updates. You see, Jesus, 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 Jesus. And then we now did some research and realized it was Nathaniel Bassi who first put up a post. You know, asking um, the Nigerians to shut down WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and others, other social media platforms. So Jesus, uh, you know, uh, he has previously been been known for his Hallelujah challenge that um, uh, you know he's done for some years. It's also also trends as well. So yesterday he shared that picture. You can see played on the screen of Jesus, the word Jesus. And Nathaniel has 2.6 million followers on Instagram, 1.3 million followers on Twitter. He asked them to make it their profile picture and share it over their social media accounts. And this is what he said, I quote, Can we make this picture a profile picture and, on, and tweet at 12 noon? Let's release at 12 noon. Let's release a precious ointment over our land and nation. And he put Jesus, he tweeted. Um, so at about 12 p.m., a lot of Nigerians, gospel, you know, f you know, fans of gospel music and Christians uh, uh, did that. And on Twitter, Jesus was trending. It, it had more tweets than, I think, any other local uh, trend uh, at the time I checked yesterday. And I have one question for you, Mercy. Did you update your status? I was going to ask you to say. Did you say. update your profile picture? <laughs> I was, I was did you post I was going on to, social media? I was going to ask you to Jesus? say. No, I, I didn't post on social media. It doesn't make me I, less are, of... you, are you sure you're a good Christian? No, it doesn't make me less of a Christian. It doesn't. Right. It doesn't even make me not being a believer. Of course, mm, my mm. my religion is. Mm. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus, mm. and I believe in everything that He stands for. But me not posting that does not make me less of a Christian, because I felt like if it was more like I, I'm going to be pressured. That's how I saw it. A lot of people were posting that, and so if I had posted that, it would mean that. And being pressured. That's how I felt. Like mm. if I had posted it, I would have been pressured to be part of it. But I understand the reaction that follows, you know, uh, the generate A lot of people, I mean, popular Daddy Freeze had talked about it. Uh, a colleague as well. He said, uh, he's, he shared his own concerns. So, now, so I think he that, said Baba one trend. Yes. I think that the reason why a lot of people, even those who are Christians, have come out to... Um, not really support this particular trend. Not like support it. It's the fact that people are thinking that, hey, come on. On the other hand, and I hope that Nathaniel Bassi does not come up with a song titled Jesus at the end of the day because it would be heartbreaking for a lot of people. Now, we are still a few days after the war attack. It's, it's been a lot. It's very emotional. And there's no way you're going to talk about that without thinking. Yeah, except you don't have a conscience or you, 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 you're you dead of, I mean, you don't have a conscience. But if you put yourself in the shoes of these people, we're talking about empathy. There's no way you talk about that without feeling that. So I understand where a lot of people are coming from saying, hey, come on, what's the essence of this trend now? We understand that Jesus reigns supreme. Is it that we're calling Jesus to come down and fix the problem that we're faced with? So, calling so Jesus you, to come and fix the, the, the issue of insecurity? The crowd who are saying, you know, um, um, Christians in Nigeria should, should stop all the Jesus thing and go and that's what some people said i'm just going yeah. and go get their pvcs and then others now to start saying oh the churches are even having registration drive for their members we've done all that allow us to worship our god but if nathaniel decides to come up with a song titled jesus afterwards 
there's nothing wrong. No, there's nothing wrong. I mean, it's just the fact that he you know, not sing about Jesus. I'm no, sure, no, no. It's not like he shouldn't uh, sing about he put Jesus. Out this tweet, coffee, this coffee. It's not like no he shouldn't Jesus sing about song. Jesus. It's not that he shouldn't sing about Jesus. People are thinking that, hey, as Christians, we have decided. A lot of people. I mean, if you look at Christianity, I mean, we're being prompted to leave, but this is what it is. The anger surrounding that reaction is not that. Maybe if it didn't happen at the same time where this or what issue happened, a lot of people would have taken a chill pill. But the question here is, come on, you know, come on, really. What are you doing at this point in time? They mm. feel that, you know, the priority should not be mm. at this particular point. We're saying mm. it feels like we have releg relegated ourselves to the back and All we right. have constantly said we want Jesus to come and we're not saying Jesus cannot we, we solve have the to problem. Go. We have to go. But we can take, you know, we, 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 we can constantly let, let those allow who everything. Want to post post is their right. Let no, we understand that they have their right, but you also let understand the fact that some people feel like the likes their of albums, um, release um, or songs. I mean, you mentioned that Tanya Basi has a lot of following. Some people would think that you know, he has a lot of following, and what is the priority at this time? I, I, I think, I think, I think we, we should not, fantastic. we should, we should not, we should not stretch it too much. If you want to do what pleases you, as far as you're not, you know, breaking the law or harming anyone. If you want to release or if you want trend, trend, now you're right, do them. You know, I think even, even Freeze, Freeze, Freeze also wanted reacting. to trend. We have to go. Freeze also did it to trend. Let no, them do what. Let them do go. what they want to do. But Kofi, just it's before part. we go, mm. it's just that a lot of people think that at this point there should be some level of unison. We should be speaking in one voice, and we should be patriotic. That's the much we can take this morning on top trending. Uh, thank you so much for being part of the conversation. We'll return tomorrow. When we, we return, it will be time for us to be looking at the front pages of our national dailies with great analysis. Please stay with us.